In this video, we will look at the natural response of an RL circuit. An RL or resistor inductor circuit is a circuit consisting of only independent sources, resistors and a single inductor. The natural response of an RL circuit is defined as follows. The currents and voltages resulting from the sudden disconnection of a DC voltage source or DC current source due to switching are called the natural response of the circuit. In the natural response, this energy stored in an inductor is suddenly released to a resistive network. And we use the term natural response to emphasize the fact that the nature of the circuit itself, that is the inductor, determines the circuit behavior and not the external DC sources. This is the circuit used to study the natural response of an RL circuit. The inductor is here, the resistor is here. We have a switch and also a current source and a resistor R0 in parallel with the current source. The main steps in analyzing and understanding the natural response are shown here. So let's put these steps into action. The first step is to understand what is happening in this circuit. To do this, we look at this circuit before switching and after switching. So this is the equivalent circuit before switching. So the switch is initially closed and stays closed for a very long time. This allows steady state conditions to be established. Under steady state, an inductor acts as a short circuit to DC. Therefore, this is the equivalent circuit just before switching happens. Here the inductor is represented as a short circuit. We know that current takes the path of least resistance. Here we have inductor in parallel with two resistors. And since the inductor is acting like a short circuit to DC, all the current I0 will flow through this inductor and no current is flowing through R0 and R. Under steady state, the energy stored in the inductor is half Li0 squared. This is the equivalent circuit after switching. Once the switch opens, this current source and this resistor do not impact the R and L components. So this is the circuit that is used to study the natural response of an RL circuit. And this is the simplest configuration which is used to study this. In this circuit, the energy stored in the inductor is dissipated through the resistor as heat. The next step is to formulate the circuit equation. To do this, we can use Kirchhoff voltage law and apply it to this circuit. Kirchhoff voltage law states that the algebraic sum of voltages around a closed path is zero. So here we have voltage across the inductor and the voltage drop across the resistor and this sum is equal to zero. Using the fundamental property of an inductor, the voltage drop across the inductor is given by L D I T by DT and the voltage drop across the resistor is obtained by using Ohm's law as R I T and this is equal to zero. This is a first order differential equation and it can be rearranged as follows. Dividing both sides by L we get d by dt i t plus r over l i t is equal to zero. The solution of this first order differential equation is the natural response of an R L circuit. We can use Mathematica to solve this first order differential equation. The syntax to use is illustrated here. 
we can define the differential equation as follows and then using the desolve command we can obtain a symbolic solution for the current as shown here. Thus according to Mathematica the current IT is given by a constant C1 uh, multiplied by e raised to the power minus R over L T. Thus in order to determine the complete response we still have to determine the value of constant C1. In order to find the value of the constant C1, we need to carry out an initial and final condition analysis. Let t is equal to 0 minus denote the time just before switching, t0 plus denote the time just after switching, and t is equal to infinity denote the time a very long time after switching has occurred. Here i0 minus denotes the current in the inductor just before switching takes place and this value is i0 and this is given. v0 minus denotes the voltage across the inductor just before switching takes place at time t0 minus the inductor acts as a short circuit to dc therefore this value is 0 volts i0 plus denotes the current through the inductor just after switching takes place it is the fundamental property of an inductor that the current through an inductor cannot change instantaneously therefore i0 plus is equal to i0 minus and this is equal to I0. Since current through an inductor cannot change instantaneously, at time T0 plus, the inductor acts like a current source with magnitude I0, and we can use this fact to draw an equivalent circuit at time T0 plus to determine V0 plus. So at time T0 plus, the inductor acts like a current source having magnitude I0 and this is connected to the resistor R. So the voltage here is V0 plus and we can determine this by applying Ohm's law to this resistor R. So this voltage is given by I0 R. So we can see that an inductor does not allow current to change instantaneously. However, the voltage is changing instantaneously from 0 to I naught R across the inductor and this does not cause any issue. Finally, I infinity and V infinity denote the voltage and current a long time after switching has occurred. So eventually the inductor loses all its stored energy which is dissipated as heat in the resistor. Therefore these uh, values are 0 amp and 0 volt uh, respectively. So this completes the initial and final condition analysis. Now we can obtain a solution to the differential equation. So the Mathematica solution is IT is equal to a constant multiplied by E raised to the power minus R over LT and this factor in the exponent can be brought to the denominator and written as E raised to the power minus T over L divided by R. The constant C1 is given by I0 plus and this is equal to I0 minus and has value I0. Thus the current is given by I0 e raised to the power minus T over L divided by R. For RL circuits we define the time constant tau as inductance divided by the resistance and this time constant also has units of seconds 
and this can be verified as follows the unit of inductance is henry's which is volt seconds per ampere and then the units of resistance is voltage divided by amperes so these units cancel out and we are just left with seconds so using the time constant tau the natural response of an rl circuit is written in standard form as i naught e raised to the power minus t over tau where tau is l over r and this expression is valid for t for any time t greater than equal to zero once we determine the natural response we can solve for other circuit parameters in this given circuit the current through the inductor and the resistor which are connected in series is given here we can use this to work out the voltage across the in resistor so for the resistor the voltage vrt is given by the product of the resistance and the current and this gives value i naught r e raised to the power minus t over tau we can work out the instantaneous power so the instantaneous power in a resistor is given by the product of the voltage and the current and substituting the values and simplifying this simplifies to i naught squared r e raised to the power minus 2t over tau also we can work out the energy dissipated in the resistor so this is given by integrating the instantaneous power from 0 to t the value of the instantaneous power is shown here so substituting this value and integrating we get the result half l i naught squared 1 minus e raised to the power minus 2t over tau through the inductor the current is given here and we can use the basic property of an inductor to work out the inductor voltage so the inductor voltage is l d by d t of i t substituting the value of the current and take carrying out the differentiation and then simplifying we get minus i naught r e raised to the power minus t over tau we can see that the voltage across the inductor has the same magnitude as the voltage across the resistor but opposite polarity the initial energy stored in the inductor is half l i naught squared and we can get a general expression by substituting the value of i t for the current so we get half l i squared t and substituting the values and simplifying we get half l i naught squared e raised to the power minus 2 t over tau thus once we solve for the natural response of an rl circuit we can determine other circuit parameters the last step is to sketch the current waveform and understand the significance of the time constant so the current waveform is a decaying exponential and the time constant is a measure of the decaying speed um, after one tau seconds has elapsed the volt the current has decreased to approximately 37 percent of its initial value and after five time constants the current has decreased to less than one percent of its initial value and is assumed to be zero thus we say that after five time constants the energy stored in the inductor has been completely dissipated in the resistor we can compare the natural response of an rl circuit 
to the natural response of an RC circuit, we can see that the solutions have a similar form and the time constant is defined for RC circuits as shown and for RL circuits as shown. Thus, we can write a general expression for the natural response as x of t is x not e raised to the power minus t over tau where this variable x is current for an RL circuit and is voltage for an RC circuit.